Hey, welcome all you Buckeye Extra blog page viewers back here for another edition of the Thursday Three. It's great to talk to you this week, and I didn't put any of my special effects color printout pages up on the wall because I wanted to keep this a surprise as I unveil the top three things for this week. I didn't just want to throw them all three up there so you could see them and then I'd go down in the list. I want to like pop them up and show you some, some sheets as we go along because I'm doing my top three retail stores. And we talk about these uh, a lot on the show. I don't want to give anything away right here, but if you've listened to the show, you know what some of my favorite stores are. Just to give you an example of some guys that just missed the cut, Meyer, big fan of, of Meyer, can do everything at Meyer. It's right across the street from my house. Love that store. Ross, Ross is a great store. I mean, cheap clothes, I mean, low prices, what's to hate about a store like that? Big Lots, oh my God, Big Lots. It's, it's tough to tell what it is. It's not really a grocery store, it's not really a clothing store, it's not really a, a home goods store, it's kind of, it's, it's a miniature version of all those things, it's not really any one thing. Love Menards too, Menards is just like a colossal, it could do anything and everything at a Menards, I mean you got, you got grocery store, hardware store, clothing store, everything in there. Big, big Lots, though, back to Big Lots. I was in Seattle a couple weeks ago. I found a Big Lots there, stopped in, got myself a car charger and a bag of gummy bears for about four bucks. And the vacation, I mean, was it wouldn't have been the same if I didn't find and stumble in to that Big Lots to be snacking on the gummy worms, or gummy bears, excuse me, for the duration of the trip. So top three retail stores, here's where we start. Yep, you know it, you know it. TJ Maxx right there. It's just unbelievable. I mean, clothes, the sporting goods section. They've got like the little uh, knickknack section where you can get like a razor or something like that. Maybe a little mustache trimmer because I, I need help w with keeping this bad boy, you know, clean and, and neat and, and uptight. So, they, they, I mean, jerseys, anything like that, a place where you could go and, you know, find jerseys for the entire offensive line of the Cleveland Browns. You still want a Whedon jersey, a Trent Richardson jersey. Authentic, too, like game, like the game apparel. You can find something like that for 30 bucks. These, these suckers are going for more than 250 So TJ Maxx is very good. I, I love them. My kid, three-year-old kid, Jack, he, when I ask him who some of his friends are, one of, the, like, the second names out of his mouth is TJ Maxx. Like, TJ Maxx is one of his friends. Yeah, I mean, figure that out. Yes, Jack. He is one of my friends, too, and a good friend. Let's just call him a family member. Number two. All right, Marshalls. Why is Marshalls ahead of TJ Maxx? Again, they're similar. They're in the same family. They're pretty much one's as good as the other, right? I live closer to the Marshalls right now. I don't have a TJ Maxx in my area. I live in Hilliard. I got the Marshalls on, on Hilliard, Rome, so I can just go into that one at any time that I need. Actually, just bought a couple of pair of basketball shoes there. The shoes... I didn't know TJ Maxx, uh, at least as far as I remember, they didn't do much in, in the means of men's shoes, if at all. They had a big women's shoe department, a little bit better of a home goods department in TJ Maxx, but Marshalls, I think, has better men's clothing as far as the sports apparel from what, from what I could gather, from what history tells me. And just picking up a couple pairs of shoes there, I'm very happy about them. Got a pair of Steph Curry Under Armour sneakers. Marshalls is number two. Now, number one, and this was tough to put something ahead of a, a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx, but I had to do it. It is your big boy. That's right, the club. Are you a member? I sure am. I mean, the food. I guess that's probably where the difference is. It's a bigger store. It's like its own city. It should have its own zip code there. Going to Sam's Club... It's like an event. You can just kill a whole day. Like the day will be, we're going to go to Sam's. Oh boy, that's that's an entire day. You've got the bar up front. You can get clothes there. Where do you think this shirt that I'm wearing right now, where do you think that's from? Yeah, pretty easy. And then you can add in a hot dog and a Coke for $1.99. Soft pretzels. They got everything you need. Sam's Club is the store. You can furnish your home. You can buy a lawnmower. You can get ready for a beach trip. You can buy some some lawn furniture, things like that. You can you could do anything and everything. DVDs. The sky's the limit. I even thought about buying a mini fridge for the office. Sam's Club has it. There you go. 
top three retail stores. Marshalls, oh, that's number two. TJ Maxx, number three. Marshalls, number two. And my store, Sam's Club, number one. What are your favorites? Am I right there? Am I right? Tweet at me at Tim Hall 971 Tune in next week for the Thursday 3. We'll talk to you later.